What is going on guys, Horizon here. For a while now, I have believed that the biggest lesson that you can learn in Rocket League that will help you rank up is how to analyze your own replays. Now sometimes it can be hard to spot mistakes in our own replays as our brain doesn't like to admit when we've messed up. So what I've done is I've grabbed a platinum friend of mine in Reaper, you guys have seen him on the channel before, and I have sent him one of my replays to analyze. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, how does this benefit the Platinum player? And from the point of view I have, if you're able to identify mistakes made in a higher level lobby, it should be all the easier for you to identify mistakes in your own lower level lobbies. But before we do jump into it, as you guys know by now, I am setting a rather lofty goal of attempting to reach 500 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you wouldn't mind helping us achieve that goal by clicking that bright red subscribe button right down below this video, I would very much appreciate it. Now, without any further ado, let's see just what Reaper was able to spot. It's gonna be so bad. Eh, it won't be that bad. I remember playing this game, and I just remember being like, what the freak is happening? Where Speaking is it of, I still have to watch you and your wife playing. I haven't oh, watched that video yet. It's terrible. I played worse than Chris. Oh, oh what? I played worse than Chris. This okay, guy. there. That's right. Yeah, there we my, are. My natural flick of the camera to the right. Yeah, so first off, like, what was that? Well, you see, what <laughs> happened was so, right. So my plan was like, that's like my kind of <laughs> attempts. Right. So if you pause it right here, I so I saw the ball pop up. Now I thought it was coming more towards me. Like, uh, I knew okay. it was hitting the ceiling, but I thought it was coming more towards me. The problem was it was a lot straighter of a bounce. So then at this one, I'm like, oh crap, well, I'm not reaching this ball in the air. Yeah. And I can't let this guy have a free touch. So let me try to get down to him. And I did, yeah. luckily. So I didn't let him shoot, but yeah, uh, that could have gone a lot better and probably some more patience there would have been ideal. I mean, luckily nothing came of it. A nice little block there. Got my boost yoinks, so now we're struggling. I know that feeling a little too well. That touch is just so wasteful. Go back for a second and look at my touch going into the corner here. So pause it right before I hit the ball. Okay. Right about here. And now tell me, I, I want you to tell me, because I'm willing to bet you can. Look at what the opponents are doing and let me know yeah, completely... what I should be doing with this ball. I mean... I don't know if I should really be judging anything, but... Ah, uh... oh, like, I saw that. I was watching it when I was getting ready for you. I'm like, oh my gosh, they weren't even facing me. Why did I just hit this ball away? <laughs> I had eight boosts, and I'm like, well, here you guys go. There's one I missed, uh, 41 seconds. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, this, you went for that one? I probably would have held back, because I saw he was much closer than you were. Yeah, I, that's just me tunnel visioning on the ball. Yeah. If I see my teammate, I know, I'd... I know you've talked to me about that too, so... Yeah, it, it, generally a rule of thumb, if you see your teammate and they look like they might kind of go for the ball, just don't, don't go for it. And yeah. for whatever reason, I was like, oh. I think because I saw him on the wall there, I was like, okay, he's going back, and then he, and then he didn't. I'm like, well, this is problematic now. Luckily, we at least got the touch, because at least we didn't yeah. airmail it. <laughs> That was so unfortunate. Was, yeah, I I've done that so many times, both me and Jers. Like we've done that to each other all the time. It's like, oh darn it. And say so, like the the pain of like this is a goal. Oh, and then oh my gosh. Yeah. See, I would have at least jumped there. That's one thing I did raise. Oh. Like try to do something. Like it's gonna go in regardless. So like try to make a play for it. I I think the problem was if you go back for a second, where 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 my downfall was was right here yeah i it thought bounced. it was i thought it was in so i was like okay there's nothing i can do and then it wasn't i'm like well i can't turn around now to get to it so yeah, now just i'm just kind of stuck I, that's just a hard thing to defend like i've still not really figured out a good way of getting out of that that there's once it gets into that awkward situation unless you're prepared for what's happening or it can turn fast enough i could have used power slide but for whatever reason I, my brain was like nah you don't need that. Don't use power slide, you goof. I wrote down a note for this. I don't remember what it was for, though. What'd you write down? Oh, this right here. Like, me personally, I probably would have ran that up the corner. 
see what else I could have done with it. I just didn't like where he was at. Yeah, go back for a second. Let me see where he is. Oh, okay, yeah. never mind. As I watch it again, like I wasn't expecting him to go along the corner wall up like that. I think the problem was, you, like, there's two options for this play. Instead of hitting it like... I either hit it like I did but keep it closer to me so I can actually get back and shoot it before he <laughs> challenges, or I hit this um, like harder to the right because he's yeah. currently facing back towards his net. So if I go hard right, I'm going to have some time to control the ball. Or if I get a lighter touch going to the left. But I got too yeah. heavy of a touch and it allowed him to come back into it. Also, I don't know how I'm the only one that died in that exchange. I've had a lot of those lately where or I'm just not going fast enough either. It's like, I don't have a lot of speed going. How did I get him? And that this is just another situation where... I actually didn't know why my teammate went in this situation because we kind of did the same thing yeah. that we did last time, except it was him going with me this time. And I was just like, bro, no. I think there's just a lot of like me not playing around my teammate appropriately in this game because it's a lot of me just encroaching and not really knowing what his plan is. Also, should yeah. take him ball cam off there to check where he was. Another thing too is like, just like you don't know what their play style is too because everybody has their own play style. Yeah. Like here, I like how, like, even though you didn't hit the ball, you still smacked him out of it. Yes. Like, I love that mentality because I do that all the time. I'm like, if I can't hit the ball, I'll make sure they can't hit it either. Yeah, and that's the good thing, like, to recognize when you have help back behind you because I was like, okay, if I have somebody back behind me, as long as I do something to make this yeah. guy not have the play he wants, we're probably going to be fine. That was a nice attempt there. I remember thinking right when I hit that ball and they had that, like, weak save, I was like, well, this should be a goal. Hopefully my teammate scores it, and he did. I'm like, okay, perfect. Because sometimes I'm like, okay, this should be a goal, and then it's not. I'm like, oh, gosh, yeah. great. Sometimes you have to just have these awesome shots, and they're just in the right place at the right time. Yeah, you just hit it right. I've had so many double taps the last couple of days where I've just hit the ball right into a pre-jumping defender, and I've been like, yeah. come on, man. Why? Why are you there? Strings. It's just I'm good at stuffing the ball. That's what I do. That's I another waste. Stuffing the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I had another really wasteful touch there along the wall. If you go back real quick, yeah. the, this touch out of the corner, like I have space a little bit. I don't have a ton of boost, mm -hmm. but I have enough that I can do some. Well, I want. I yeah, I'm twelve. But I just tap the ball on the wall and it's like, well, my teammates never get into that. I'm lucky they didn't shoot that because that would have yeah. been a goal. If you're going to hit the ball off your opponent's back wall, either you need to hit it really hard so it bounces out to your teammate, or you need to roll it, like, <laughs> off the wall. There's, you can't go in between, or else it's just a pass to the other team. Should have scored this. That's pain. Like, I, like, okay, so, like, there, I saw where they were at and that they were close to the ball. I probably would have just let it go and started going back down to the ground as quickly as possible. Yeah, ideally that's not a bad idea, because I left my teammate completely alone, and if they very easily could have maneuvered downfield pretty quickly. Another risky challenge, but I mean with 45 seconds, I think it's kind yeah. of worth it there. Like there I felt like you weren't even going that fast. That was a nice little... Yeah, just able to catch in. up to it before, before the guy came off respawn and got to it. And then this um, is just so, tragic. Yeah, see, what I would have done there is in, I'll go back a little bit. Because this is something I keep yelling at Jerry at every once in a while. Like, right there, he... Not necessarily that it, it's a bad hit, but it's not very advantageous. Like, I'm really bad at doing that. Like, I already know that he's going to hit that closer than I am, so I'm probably going to get back to goal as quickly as possible and try intercepting it. Yeah, and the, and so the other... Even if I miss it, it's still going to go in. So... I'm going to have, like, a small chance of being able to, like, intercept and just knock it to the side. Yeah, and if you pause it, like, right before he hit, makes contact with the ball, right before he touches it, right here, like, based on his angle, unless he gets the perfect touch on this ball, it's not going to be very powerful. Right. So, like, rushing into this, like, I should at least give myself a chance. Yeah, like, like I would have went over this way. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'd if I was... hit the ball, like, around this area here. 
Yeah, like if I was in the net already, then coming out to challenge him would have made sense because you want to cut the angles down. But if you're coming on from the side like that and you can see that it's not going to be a powerful touch, you might as well just take your chances and defend the goal. That's something that I still struggle with is playing where the ball is now instead of anticipating yeah. where the ball is going to be. That's something I've just been really good at for some reason. I don't know if it's all my math knowledge from school, but <laughs> I, that's why... I, always used to tell people, I'm like, Rocket League isn't necessarily a game about hitting the ball where it's currently at, it's where it's going to be. Correct. It's all geometry. That, that was like the one good touch I've had all game was that save. Like, that was the only one. <laughs> and me and my teammate again, just not on the same page. I thought yeah. he was going to leave the boost for me to be able to actually take a play and instead, nope, not quite. I think it really just, cut, like, challenges were just bad, and I read... Like, reading bounces, I either hesitated too much in wanting to go, or I jumped early and I had the worst read on the history of the planet. So, yeah. No, otherwise, like, it it looked good. It's just, you were just off your game for the most part. Yeah, there's just moments, and it's just like, you sit back and watch, and you just go, what on earth yeah. were you thinking? I like, mean, what? I do that all the time when I'm watching my videos. I'm like, man, this, I played like crap. <laughs> I'm like, I yell at Jerry, but I don't think I'm doing any better. <laughs> like, what am I doing? And I'm like over here flaming teammates. It's like, yeah, but I suck. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, I guess I shouldn't be talking. So I did prove a point, though, because you are able to identify some mistakes in a higher level game because you were correct in pretty much everything you said. So good I could job. Be, I, could be a, I could be a champion. Yeah, that, on, not champ go that far. Champion <laughs> coach, maybe. So now I actually want to try another experiment. I want to have, so I've analyzed a couple of your replays. I want to have you analyze one of your own. Oh. And I want to meet back up and go over what you find in one of your own replays. Interesting. Because then that can also help you, because I I can help point out things that you might have missed. And help I can you prove how dumb I am. I mean, you were able to point, point out mistakes in a GC game. Surely you can point out mistakes in a plat game. Everything you saw in that game, there's gonna be so, like, now that you know, like, the kind of mistakes that you see in a higher level, you're gonna see those exact same mistakes, and then a whole heck of a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Because they're gonna be bad, and you're gonna just be like, oh, good lord, what is happening? Yeah, I mean... I got homework! <laughs> but it's actually fun. Like, I, I don't know about you, but I love I analyzing don't... stuff. Okay, okay, analyzing, sure, I don't know about the whole playing the game part. No, playing the game um, makes you want to throw things sometimes. Yes, it, it sucks. Rocket League sucks the soul out of your body. Yes. It's, it's like you get home for a long day of work. It's like, man, I can't wait to have a good night tonight, except I'm going to play Rocket League, which means I'm going to hate life 20 minutes in. Nice. That'll wrap it up for today's video. I am very interested to see, after talking with Reaper here, what he might be able to see in his own replays. But for that, we will just have to wait and see. So thank you everybody so much for watching, as I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. See you later, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.